I'm lazy and a little crazy Could it not be the way that you made me Stolen my heart, my heart and my soul Just because you like to be in control Excitement, while it's all concerning If you're scared then it's time for turning To something else, to give you a thrill Don't be nervous like a time to kill You think I'm lazy You think I'm lazy You think I'm lazy Get on, move on to someone else You ruin my health and take away my wealth I don't mean money, that's almost funny Throw a smile on your face, stop calling me honey Zone now that you know, I know who you are Find another sucker, I'm sure you'll go far Do I sound harsh? I've been your amused Mumba found a way out of the confusion Think I'm lazy You think I'm lazy You think I'm lazy Hello, I think we're live on YouTube. Just nod if you can hear me. How is everyone doing? Right, I think we can hear hear me, can't we? Hopefully we've got no issues this week. As normal, I normally check on my phone. Let's have a look. Hello, I yeah. think we're live on YouTube. Yes, we can hear. So, awesome. Right, so... We got another live review and re rebuild for you guys, uh, and this one is a, a proper live review and rebuild because we've got the Nest RDA by Nature Vape and Aris Vapor, a, a joint collaboration. And uh, yeah, this one's a little bit different, something a little bit innovative. So uh, yes, uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. So hope everyone's doing very well and staying safe out there. Um, Right, let's do some shout outs as ever. We'll do a few shout outs in chat, then we'll uh, do the uh, download unboxing, all of that uh, good stuff, and then we'll do the attempt the live build. And we are going to be doing that today using my Logitech camera, so you'll have to bear with me because the quality won't be quite as good as using my Canon one. So, anyway, so I hope you're all doing well. Hello to you all. So, let's uh, go from the top then. Right, so we got 25 in the house. That's awesome. As always, if you'd like to uh, share it out, uh, be my guest. Uh, always hit the thumbs up icon. Uh, and if you want to chat, leave a comment in chat. I'll endeavor to answer any questions and that. Preferably later on, because when I'm doing the review and that, I'm not going to be able to see the chat. So you'll have to just bear with me, guys. But anyway, here we go then. So. Let's have a look at the top. We've got Cheech in there. Victor should get a real job. 
Uh, we've got Jose Lopez. What's up, buddy? Late Night Vape Show. Hello, Cheech. Uh, good afternoon, Mick. How are you doing, buddy? Simon62. What's up, uh, Simon, bud? Lee D. Right, we've got Stuart Ayrton. We've got uh, AVC Reviews. How are you doing, Kieran? Hope you're doing very well, sir, and your family. Right, any other chatters in here? Louis Fishing, afternoon buddy. Nice of you to join me. Right, we've got Tim Rice. What's up, buddy? How you doing, mate? Rob Gain. Adrian Mason, good afternoon, sir. And we got the uh, one and only Mr. Mark Burns, uh, Nature Vape. Uh, how do, sir? Thanks for tuning in. Tell it like it is. Hi. Any other ones? We've got Rufus Kane. What's up, Rufus? And uh, Peter Kendall. Yeah, I'm doing very well, Mark. Thank you very much. Uh, well, yeah, I've been stressing a little bit because uh, this could go one way or the other. So let's just hope it goes the, the way that I want it to go. Uh, and that is about it. Paul Wynn Stanley... And that is it for the chatters. Anyone else who wants to say hello, be my guest. What's up, uh, Becca Lumps? Uh, thanks for tuning in. So, just have a little swig of my soft drink. Right, so, yeah, format of the show. We are going to be doing the um, unboxing, show you what I've been sent over from Mark. This has been sent over free of charge for the purpose of an independent and an honest review as ever. What uh, what I say is uh, totally honest. There's no bullshit on this channel. So, yeah, we've got the Nest RDA. We've got some other bits um, uh, in as well or coming in, and I'll tell you about those a little bit later on. I thought at least 100 people are tuning in. I'm lucky to get 30 these days, mate. Uh, I'm, I'm poison, remember, so you've you got to remember that, buddy. And it's a Saturday afternoon. But... Uh, yeah, so I'll just quickly show you what I'm vaping on. We've got the Reload 26 RDA with the uh, Lord Coggington's prototype dual parallel mod. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. We've also got the Freemax 100 mod with the uh, Wasp Nano S RDA. Uh, fresh in the last couple of weeks, that one is. We've also got the Ares 2 uh, mouth to lung RT RTA with the uh, Mono SQ here by Dovpo and Signature Tips. One of my favourite setup, this mouth lung tank. Uh, it's uh, going under the radar a little bit because I think people are put off uh, because who's made it. But it, one of the best um, mouth lung RTAs I've ever had, that one. All right, Juice, we've got Just Jammy by E-Liquid Flavor Concentrate and obviously Just Jam. I think they've done a joint collaboration. We've got some, uh, what's it called, uh, Kerno Black in here, which I mixed up myself. And we've also got a couple of bottles here which Nature Vape sent over. These are basically tester bottles. We've got some uh, ras blackcurrant raspberry and lime. Uh, we've got 0.75% and 1.25% uh, Coolada in those to see what I thought, thought think about them. And we will be talking about those a little bit later on. Obviously, you can buy all the juice from naturevape.co.uk, his true juice line. But yeah, we have got some other bits to show as well, but we'll talk about those a little bit later on. Right, so let's see who else is in here. We've got Jay Jally. What's up, buddy? Uh, Michelle B. Hello, Michelle. And uh, David Adair. What's up, buddy? Fist bump to you, sir. So we'll have a quick uh, vape and then we'll get straight on to the unboxing. Rito 26 will be on the channel at some point. Probably one of my best RTAs of the year, as a spoiler alert. Jackie McCutcheon, nice to see you in here. Thanks for tuning in. Right, so let's do it then. I'm going to go low to the table. Uh, forgive me while I probably am not too involved with chat at this precise moment, but I've uh, got to do a review, so I've got, just got to move the mic over. Because unfortunately, I've only got one mic. 
1-0 Huddersfield Town. Well done, Simon. Just move that over like that. And uh, let's go down to the main cam. Switch the light on. And here we go. Right, it's down to the table. Right, here we are. This is what I've been sent over from Mark, uh, Nature Vape. Um, let's put a chat up so I could see. Right, so we've got uh, two boxes here. Now, I believe these are after purchases. You can buy these at uh, a later date. Uh, we will be looking at these in a minute. So I'll just put those to one side when we do the build. But here's the actual box. This is what you're going to get when you uh, buy the RDA. So we've got Nest on the top. There's a picture of the RDA. I've got the black version. It comes in black and stainless steel. Aris Vapor, the uh, company that manufacture it, and uh, Mark Nature Vapor uh, had uh, basically, uh, it was a joint design effort by Nature Vapor and Aris Vapor, which you can see on that side there. Well, on the back, we've got the uh, contents and the specifications. Uh, so we've got 25 mil by 35.65 mil. Uh, stainless steel 304, and I've got the matte black version. And a little product warning there. On this side, we just got uh, Ares Technologies uh, details on there. Nothing on these two sides. So slide that lid off there. And here we go. We've got the little user manual here. I don't normally take much notice of these because um, they're not normally detailed enough. But that's what I'm here for. We'll show you how to build it in a minute. And uh, I'm an exponent uh, because I've built this four or five times. I'm not really an exponent, but we are going to try and blag it today. Right, here we go. We've got the warranty card as well for what they're worth. And uh, this is what it's presented like then. So there's your RDA in there. Let's have a look what's under here. We've got some... Muji cotton, a couple of strips in here. I have been using uh, strips from the other packages and the, the calls and stuff like that. But we get a bag full of O-rings. You get four spare grub screws in there. These, uh, one of these O-rings comes in handy for the build. We'll talk about that later on. You get a canthal strip, cool, which I've used. You get a stainless steel strip cord here. There might be two in there, actually. There is two stainless steels. And we've also got a nichrome one, which I've used. Uh, but like I said earlier, we have got a couple of uh, packs of calls that I've been sent over, which you can get for a uh, optional purchase. Right, inside here, we get your Phillips screwdriver and um, you get your little coiling tool here. And there's this O-ring, which I'll show you what I'm using that for, uh, for the actual build. Right, put that box to one side then. Get all that shat over there. Let's have a look at this bad boy. So it comes in a little condom there. And here is the RDA. Right, I've got the matte black version here. So with the stainless version, you'll notice that all this design work is, um, I think it's in black, so you can see it a little bit more easily. I prefer the more murdered out look. So I went for the... Uh, the matte black which covers up um, I think it just looks much uh, neater like that so there's your nest written on there nice and smooth it is like engraved in but nice and smooth there's your airflow holes on the sides here I haven't got my calipers out but that does look to be uh, over a centimeter by about 1.82 mil something like that so we're on the top we got an 8m fitting drip tip this is a bit stiff to get off especially when you've uh, just got it but aftermarket tips will be you'll be able to put them on there see if I can find one All right here's one from the recurve so that pops on just like that which is good yeah no troubles at all with tips fitting on here this one's quite comfortable actually so we'll put it back on so just like that right underneath what have we got underneath we've got Aris Vapor and Nature Vape, Aris Vapor's website, serial number 707, usual markings there, and we've got a gold-plated uh, 510 pin, I'm not sure what it's made from, uh, but probably stainless steel or copper. 
And there you can just see we've got uh, a nice bit of protrusion there if you wanted to use this on a hybrid mechanical device. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about there, then it doesn't matter. But uh, if you're using hybrid mechanicals, you need to make sure your positive pin is protruding so it's connecting with the battery direct and not interfering with this negative housing. Make sure the peak insulator is inside, which you can just see around there as well. Right, let's just put it on here so we can take the cap off. Right, that's that. Look inside here. This is a one-piece top cap here. We've got a nice bit of dome in there, which does help uh, give better flavor. You just see there, we've got a little notch on either side. That's to help lock it into position. And when it's on the mod, it means it will. you can adjust your airflow and it will come off. We'll just show you that in a uh, second. But yeah, there's your airflow slots coming from either side. Here's the deck section. I'll, uh, I'll just try and get in a little bit closer, actually. Is that too much? Probably. Right, there we go. Take it off there. Right, so there we go. We've got Phillips screws on here, and I've got a bit of cotton in there, which is good. I didn't clean that out very well. You also get this little cage thing here, which does come out. So... There you go, just get yourself a pair of needle nose pliers. This cage comes out. When I first did my first build, I uh, didn't take the cage out. So that is a rookie error because it's a lot easier to do this build if you take the cage out. So what's gone going on with this one? This is basically a vertical mesh RDA. So anyone who likes sub-ohm tanks will probably love this one. But basically the the uh, airflow is coming through the bottom on each side and then it works its way underneath here and as you can see there the airflow is coming from all directions so when you've got that core situated in place there you're getting the airflow covering um, it's coming through the middle of the core but it's making sure it covers all of the uh, surface area so there's your positive pin there which is connected to this uh, thing it does come out but i don't suggest doing it because it is a bit of a pain in the ass getting back in right peak insulator going down here that's your positive post and that is um got a peak insulator there to insulate it so that so when you put your build in uh, it you've got your negative this side there's your positive so that completes the circuit but if you didn't have the peak insulator in there you'd have a short circuit which isn't good for anybody Right, in, on the top we've got an O-ring and we've got one down the bottom. So I'm just going to leave the cage out, plug this one back in, get it on a mod. Probably put that in the wrong pot, spot. But you want to push it down so it goes right down to the bottom. Take that off again. Right, so those markers that, that we saw earlier there... There's actually a, a little section around the top here. You just see that there? You've got to basically put these markers so they go in between. Just like that, and it'll pop right down. And then, we've, then it locks into place at the fully open position. And then you can adjust your airflow down just like that. And it's the same on the other side. Close it right off, which you wouldn't do to vape it because you wouldn't have any airflow. But that's in locked in position now. So when you want to take it off the mod, just comes off really easily. Really good design and it works pucker. Really good o-ring tensions as well. So that is basically the Nest RDA. So I'm just going to go back up top now. So let's just put it back on the main cam. See if we've got any more in the house. Anyone who's just tuning in here got to talk down here because the microphone's on um get this shared out because i'm doing a live review and build tutorial the nest rda and uh, yeah what you see here is real time how you're going to build this uh, mofo so there's no editing no no nothing like that so this is what you need to do Anyone else lost sound? I hope you haven't lost sound, have you? No. 
Right, so have a quick puff and we'll get down to the build section. So we've got 41 in the house. Everyone who's just uh, ghosting out there, big love to you all. And everyone who's commenting in chat, I will get on to you in a minute. We'll do the build section and then we'll have a bit of a questions and answers section. We've got Nature Vape in the house uh, in chat as well. So, yeah, we'll be able to have a good chat about all this. Hi, Hip Hop Juice. How you doing, mate? DJS is new in the house. Sub M Silver, how you doing, buddy? Cheers, Neil. Remember, guys, we got Sub M Silver, we got uh, Simon Sixty Two, we got Kieran AVC reviews in the house, and we've also got Nature Vape. They're all reviewers. Nature Vape's the designer and. Um, of this particular RDA, but do remember to check out your brothers on YouTube. Support their channels, they do all this for free, and um, yeah, we put our time and effort into it, so it'd be good if you could check out everyone's uh, channels. Give them a sub and all of that. If you're watching the video and you're enjoying it, if you wouldn't mind giving the video a thumbs up. Afternoon, Fiona, how are you doing? Hope you and uh, Ian are doing very well. Right, let's get down low again and we'll get on to this build. We're going to adjust the camera down a little bit. See if we can get right down into it. Right, that's not too bad. It's not going to be perfect because we're using the Logitech camera today. Nice to see you in here, um, Hip Hop. Hope you're doing well, brother. Right, how's that looking? Let's try and get the focus. The trouble with the Logitech, you don't want to have it on man, uh, autofocus when you're doing stuff like this. It's a bloody nightmare. Somewhere like that should be okay. Right, so now is a good time to show you what else we got sent. Right, so in this package here, you can buy this as an optional actually, you get 10 pieces, uh, these are the calls, 20.8 uh, uh, millimeters, 0.2 ohms, and the ones I've been sent are stainless steel. And you can see there, there's some calls that I've already been using, but um, I've already used mechanical calls, so we're going to have to use stainless steel, which is, of all the three calls, this one is... Um, the springiest so this is more of a nightmare to do live but I thought I like a challenge so we are going to uh, try it live but that's what your call looks like uh, just like that right in this particular package here we've got 10 pieces of uh, alginate fiber cotton I do believe there's uh, some wood pulp cotton and um, there's another one I can't remember what it is but basically you get 10 pieces in there 60 times 9.4 millimeters and and this is uh, what the strips look like we'll use a piece of this today it's actually as you can see there we got four or five layers uh, on there so we put those to one side get our deck and uh, yeah, put that in there like that. Right, first thing I do, get these post screws undone. Everyone who's in chat, everyone who's ghosting, hello. I will be on to chat in a minute. Right, I'm trying to do this. I've probably forgotten something already, what to show you, but uh, apologies if I have. So you've undone your post screws, something like that. First thing we're going to do, we need to bed this uh, coil in, which basically means we just want to give it a quick pulse in to make sure that uh, the hot spots have uh, been taken out. So use this particular rod here, fold it round, and something like that, and it should stay more or less into position. So you can keep it on, on your rod, 
put it through like that. First thing we want to do is put it on here. So if we get it something like that, where's my screwdriver? And then this is for pulsing your cores. You obviously don't install it like this because your core will be out in no man's land, which isn't going to be good for anyone. But this is literally to pulse your cores. But what you need to remember is don't leave that rod in there like that. And just light pulses, we've got the core master tab here, so I'm not going to go too mad with it because you want to do it about 10, 15 watts, something like that. That light's a bit much, isn't it? There you go. Just something like that. That's fine. That's pulsed in now. Take it back off your mod. Good thing with these mesh strips, they don't require too much pulse. I'm going to open these screws right up because I'll find it easier in a minute. Get that off there. Right, so you want to get this back on the cage. Right, like I can say the bloody stainless is a, a little bit more manable. Before I do that, right, here's the little trick that Mark uh, suggested, and it does help, especially when you're using the stainless core because it doesn't stay in position as well. So put your O ring just like that. This particular O ring here is one of the fattest ones that you find in the package. And try and get it over three times. So just push that up like here. I don't normally watch people's reviews, but with this particular one I did. Uh, I watched Mark's review and I also watched how he rebuilt it. So if you want to watch someone doing it professionally, I'd go and watch his channel. But basically these O-rings, hopefully you should be able to just squeeze uh, the O-ring over the top of the coil. Fucking balls in that up, aren't I? Tell you what I'm going to do. That's a little bit too many wraps. You only need to. It's too fucking tight. There you go. We just use two. God almighty, here's where the meltdown comes. Right, get it over the top. There you go. You've got your two O-rings on there. Push it up just like that. We can go up a little bit more. Right, so you notice on here, we want to make sure that these, this side and that side aren't touching. So that is what we should look like, something like that. So then you get your, your cotton strip. You can use Muji, put a, a piece of Muji in half if you want to as well. And basically, you want to wrap this bit round. And then it falls apart on you. <laughs> these strips do piss me off a little bit it's much easier if it didn't have four or five strands so I'm going to put that to one side and get another one out right come on you bastard I can't fucking do it right get this round and you want to get it as tight as possible because the trick with this build is you want this cotton to be as tight to that um, uh, coil as possible. So go round a couple of times. You can see just like that. It's probably going to be too fat. So I'm going to just snip it here. Right, this is where your cage comes in. You know, it never used to be this fat when I last did it. And 
try and slide this piece on without snagging it. <laughs> you are a bar steward, I hate you. All right, get in there. Fucking thing. That's not too bad, actually. So you want to get it in there, something like that. And any excess you get, like this piece here, get your scissors, trim it off. Like I say, this isn't as hard as I'm making it out, but I am leaning forward trying to do this live on YouTube, so it's a little bit trickier. But um, that is basically the hardest part that you do. So there's your completed cotton piece. You then get... Um, put that to the top, just like that. And you see these legs here, you want to pull these forward. You can use some tweezers if you want. Of course, I've got nothing ready. So that wants to come forward, literally like that, at a right angle. Do the other side. Right, that, that's what we're looking like there. Um, right, make sure you've got these screws open here. Right, you could take the cage out now. Should I take it off now? But I think it's best to get that right down the bottom, push it in like that. But you, this is the tricky part. You want to just make sure that goes in there. And that goes in there. Okay, now is that right? Right, let's take take that rod out now right it's not brilliant but I have to do right one right this is the um, fucking thing right so you want to get this piece here to your left and bend it all the way back round without deforming your, your core fuck's sake Maybe I should have left that bit in there. I think I should have done. Let's do this one first. Put it back round like that. Screw that up. Probably would make sense to leave that rod in there, but I've been an idiot and forgot. Fucking thing. Buggered it now, aren't I? Right, fuck it. Abort. Right, anyone who's watching this, don't do what I just did. You want to leave that rod in there. piece of monkey turd and now it ain't going to go back in right let's just go off a minute and start shouting It was all going far too well.
<laughs> I don't even give a fuck anymore. Yeah. Right, abort. I, I'm going to have to do it again. I fucked up. Right. Let's get another call. Right, so get your fucking piece of call. And uh, do it all again. Should have left the um, call red in there. Uh, rookie error, but there you go. So we're going to have to do it all the bloody get. So this is the sort of shit you're going to encounter when you get it, because it isn't uh, totally straightforward. So if you want to know how to do it properly, watch Mark Burns' video. There you go. So you've bedded your coil in. Take that off there like that. Right. This bit here. I'm not going to use the O ring. You don't need to use it. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh man, can I just curl un under a stone now? Like it, you do need to use the O-ring. It's too much hassle not using it. Right, get that on there like that. This is the worst bit. If any, there's a con I've got. It's these bits should not be like that. That's the one thing I've got an issue with because it's bloody hard to do. They should just be one strip. That's why Muji would be easier. So get that in just like that. And wrap it round. Get that as tight as you can do it again. I'll tell you what, it's a fucking nightmare, isn't it? Right, do that. Probably not going to be enough cotton in there now, but there you go. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Right, this is the got to do your bend your legs over again so remember that I had this I did a trial run for this and it all went very well and then I've fucked up haven't I but there you go get that down like that right let's leave this fucker in this time Right, leave your rod in and then put it round. 
I can't believe I forgot that earlier on, but there you go. <coughs> Bendy and Brown as well, inside. Fucking hell, bloody, bloody thing in there. Right, now you can remove your rod. And what you want to have is a gap on either side, in the middle there, you can just see. That's what you want. Obviously, these bits here, you don't want to leave them like that. So I'm just going to crank the wire down a little bit more. There you go, nice and tight. Get your tweezers. Oh, fuck's sake, why did you have to go over there? Right. I'll tell you what I should do is get my bloody magnifying glass out. There you go. That's what it looks like. And you want to snip off these bits here as close to that screw as possible. Don't want this one really interfering with, with anything else. Right, there you go. Fucking hell, I need a vape. I'm having a vape quick. Right, uh, and there you have it. Second time lucky. That's what it should look like. Make sure that is pushed in its little um, slot just like that. Now, we're not quite finished yet because we need to pack some Muji cotton around the edges. So, I've got my own pack of Muji here, so we're going to use some of that. Like half, um, half a roll, half a sheet should be about perfect. It might be a little bit too much. I might just trim it off a little bit like that. In fact, I think that's a little bit too much. Let's try that. There you go. Get your cotton. And literally, you want to push this in. Don't worry about how neat it looks. But you want to get as much of this Muji in here as possible. Because basically, this isn't really... This is just providing the liquid. So when you drip around the edges here, it's the inner cotton and core which are going to be... Uh, lapping up the juice so as long as you've got this around the edge nicely in there you should be fine so you can leave the outer wraps on the muji and all that it's not too bad make sure it's full coverage right there we go we're not going to win any beauty contests with it but uh that's that. Right, get your juice. Right, we're going to use some of this um, black currant raspberry and lime. We've got the 1.25%. This is really good. I've already said to Mark, if you um, if you like the black currant raspberry and lime and you want it uh, with a bit of a cool art hit, this one is really good. So hopefully Mark will start stock stocking this one soon. So we're just going to juice her up. Right, and uh, you just need a little bit of patience here because obviously we've got a shitload of Muji in there. So 
just keep dripping around the edges until you notice the inner is um, has sucked the juice up okay. Juice on my mat. Right, let's have another go. So you just see there the, the middle is starting to soak it up now. And we'll have another go. I might have to do a couple of goes because you just see there that, that inner piece of fibre cotton needs to be moist. So you could just juice up the middle, but I like to do it like this. And then you know that the it's wicking properly. If it's feeding from the inside, you know that it's uh, drawing it up okay. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. I'm going to juice it right up. I like to have this nice and moist. The last thing you want to have is a dry hit uh, from mesh. But we'll talk about all of that in a minute. Right, that should be fine. We'll have another look in a minute. Get your top cap. Remember your stopper points, so you want to have it in line with there. There you go. We're in place now. We can take it off the the mod, whatever you're using. And let's go back up top. Let's get the microphone back. See that book. <laughs> right, here we are. Right, apologies for that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, that, um, it was going to plan, but yeah, I fucked up. I had a bit of a memory block about um, keeping the rod in. I, I took it out a little bit too early there. So uh, do forgive me with that. Let's get that so it looks a bit more central. But uh, yeah, that is that. So we're going to put it on a mod now. God, that took forever, didn't you? 348 and I've only just built it but uh, anyway whatever yes yeah, so we had a little bit of a mishap there but what you want to do is keep your keep your patience don't worry about it and just start again like I did there where's the lid for that gone So that is that. We will give it a couple of puffs in a minute and we'll talk about uh, what I think of this particular tank. Just going to get my breath a, a minute. I'll have a puff on the reload first. Everyone who is watching this, I do apologise. I thought I'd be able to do it with one hit and, uh, and it didn't go as swimming as I thought. So... Um, yeah, hopefully I didn't make too much of a hash up on, of it, Mark. But it is a little bit tricky. But it is easier when you're not doing it live and you've not got your hands like out there. Normally when you can do it, you can bring it up to your head and stuff like that. And you also haven't got the pressure of um, uh, 30 or 40 people in the house watching you. So, But uh, I think I held it together not too bad. So I'm pretty happy with that. The proof of being the pudding in a second. Right, I'll just scroll up a minute because I do realise I've been ignoring chat. So everyone who's stayed through all of that, so big love to you all. Take it in and get that rod back in. Exactly. Trouble is, because it had all gone inwards, I couldn't get the rod back in and I didn't want to fuck it up. Well, to finish in the fortnight. Hi Dion, thanks for tuning in. The worst is over. Yeah, exactly, Mark. Thanks, Rufus. Mike likes it moist. Indeed, mate. Thumbs up for Mike. It's not easy live with cameras in the way. No, Big love, if you could hit a thumbs up or put a thumbs down. I know that was a little bit of a hash, but um, there you go. It just shows you what could happen because uh, believe you me, I bet 
all of you have fucked up the, uh, doing a wick or, or a build of some sort. But how you doing, Shrek? How you doing, buddy? Andy Harris, that was such a calm build. Who are you? And what have you done with Mike MF8? Believe me, mate, the inside of me was fucking very close. But um, there's no point in getting like that, is there? Because this isn't the easiest thing to build on. Uh, believe you me, especially if you've got dodgy fingers. Uh, but um, if you follow what I did down there by using that O-ring and uh, stuff watch mark's uh, build video because he does it uh, a bit more professionally he's built it a few more times than me so um yeah he shows it good and proper it's not the easiest build deck in the world to, to do but it is definitely doable and i've made it look harder because i was doing it on camera but anyway let's have a little puff on it and um we will tell you what i think of this bad boy Look, as you can see there, it's still not got enough juice. So you need to give it a, a few good goings over before that's ready to vape. But one thing I can tell you with it, we can talk about everything else about it. Right, so it's on Nature Vape's website at the moment. I will just go on to his website now and we'll have a quick look. And we'll put it on the put it on here for you so there you go it's on sale for 25 pounds 99 we've got the black and we've got the the silver there naturevape.co.uk you can have canthal strips nikon strips or uh, me uh stainless steel so we just scroll through there this is what the site looks like 25 mil by 35.65 millimeters 304 stainless steel we've got an 810 drip tip and uh, there's all your details there if you so if you do want to check it out go over here we've got lots of other things we've got the easy mod there we've got lots of calls he sells uh, nature vape mark he provides all the calls for, for the uh, build reviews here so do check him out but there is the site naturevape.co.uk if you uh, want to, to look at that right let's go back up to the main cam again let's see if my juice still not bloody juicy enough let's give it one more go and then we'll give it a puff like i say when you've got that much muji in there you're going to take a bit of juicing up right here we are then so before we do take the puff let's talk about the build quality and everything it is built very well this one you can wiggle this around the o-ring tolerances are very good not too hard and not too stiff just show you again that's on there it's not coming off in a hurry but it's not too stiff as well we've got no rough edges around here everything has been machined very well we've got a nice solid bit of stainless steel that isn't going to like deform when you squeeze it so no problems with that got a couple of o-rings around here as well uh so all good on that front right the screws on this one they're not too bad but like i say because they're phillips screws you need to make sure you put enough pressure down uh you don't want to go too light on it otherwise you might strip them but they're not too bad they're not the best screws i've had in the world but they're not too bad at all i do like the appearance of this especially this black one i think it looks uh, very nice indeed we've got the drip tip we've got the like slope down the contour one if you don't like that you can put one of your own on but i do find it very comfortable we got 810 tips so you can just put on whatever one you want what's up uk vapes how you doing buddy right so here we go then uh, we're going to leave the airflow fully open try it 60 watts and give you a good toke here we go Right, but this one, it is very hairy when you leave that air, airflow fully open. You can probably do 70 watts, which we're going to try now. As with any mesh RTAs, you don't want to go too mega high in the wattage, otherwise you might encounter a dry hit. There you go, 70 watts. 
with 10 being a super wide airy vape, one being a mouth to lung vape. Uh, this is very airy. It's got to be a, a good 9, 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, so it is, it's too airy. Anyone who wants to vape it like that, I don't know where you're coming from. What I do is we put it down to halfway. I'm going to give it more juice because it still hasn't got enough on it. Put it down to halfway. 65 watts. Here we go. I prefer it around 63. Here we go. As you can see there, this bad boy can take some e-liquid. You can just see there the cotton's starting to go a little bit dry now, but one mega pro with this particular RDA is the fact that you can put a lot of juice in it. If you make sure that outer is totally saturated with juice, you can get a good 10, 15, maybe 20 pulls on it before you need to re-drip. Uh, and that is awesome for an RDA. I don't know any other RDA out there where you can do that. Um, so that is probably one of the best um, pros I've got with this one, like the juice capacity. Because I'm an RTA vapor, I like my RTAs, but with this one it is good because you can juice it up, take your time juicing up, let it soak in, put it on there two or three times. And the juice lasts you for ages because you don't normally do 15 or 20 pulls in a row. You can let that one stand for like... 5, 10, 15 minutes before you need to juice up again. So that is my first pro. The second pro on this one, freshly juiced up, absolutely no spit back at all. One of the very few RDAs out there where you're not getting any spit back. Look at that, we got proper loads of juice on there. Just show you that one again. Absolutely zero spit back. So another huge pro. Right, the airflow on this, if you do put it down to halfway, I think it's um, pretty awesome. It's probably not the smoothest or quiet, it's quietest in the world. But it certainly isn't the loudest. In fact, the, the vape uh, quality you get off this, it does remind me of a sub ohm tank, a mesh sub ohm tank, because obviously we've got a vertical mesh coil here. All other RDAs, mesh RDAs and uh, RTAs have been horizontal, like with the dome there and the air hitting from the side. This one, you've got the air coming from the side and going straight up underneath. So you're getting proper core coverage for the flavour. So that means you are getting vertical core uh, flavour with this one, which is a, another pro. Um, innovation, right... <laughs> I think it's fucking really ingenious what Mark's done there. No one else has thought about it. Yes, we've had mesh RDAs, mesh RTAs. But the fact we can get bottom airflow into a vertical uh, core mesh RDA is absolutely tremendous bit of uh, thinking there. So huge pro for innovation. We don't get any dry hits from this, even if you've, you know, you've seen what I did down low. If you've seen that you fucked up the call, redo it again like I did. But you can do a good 15 or 20 hits on that before you're going to get a... Um, uh, it won't, you won't even get a dry hit. What you find with this is that the flavour just uh, slowly gets um, slightly worse. But you don't actually get a dry hit. But what you've got to remember is, when you are doing that down low bit with it on the rod, Make sure that that piece of cotton you've got round it is proper tight when you push it into the cage. That is the ultimate thing you need to remember with this one, 
is to make sure that inner piece of cotton is tight because you don't want any of that uh, mesh to be... Um, if the co a cotton doesn't contact it, you will get a dry spot or a, a, a what do you call it, a hot spot, and then you might encounter dry hits. But you've got to just do what I did down below. Take your time, make sure it's proper covered, and then push it in the cage. Just trim off the excess. Whatever doesn't fit, that's uh, about what you're going to get. But, yeah, no dry hits, and I've already mentioned the juice capacity. But uh, overall with this one, uh, yes, it took me a, f a couple of builds before I got it right. I did make a bit, a bit of a boo-boo there down below by not leaving the rod in, but uh, there you go. Uh, I'm only human, make mistakes. But overall with this RDA, I think the build quality is very good. The O-ring tolerances are very good. We've got an 810 fitting drip tip, so even if you don't like this one, you can put your own ones on, which is uh, also good. The AFC tolerances, we got a nice bit of restriction there, so that's not going to inadvertently come undone. Uh, the AFC isn't which is good but right flavor let's go on to flavor them so we'll just give it one more little bit of juice and uh, give you a flavor rating Big love Fiona Clark for the £2.99 donation. Uh, it is really appreciated. Uh, thank you very much for that. Hope you and Ian are doing very well. Right, flavour rating. This is very good flavour, guys. It's um, I would give it an 8.5 to 9 out of 10 for flavour. It's not my favourite uh, flavour from an RTA or an RDA, but it is a very good draw and you're getting a nice flavour because what you get with this is a, a proper true hit. If you like sub-ohm tanks and you want to just um, build it and drip on it and get cores and uh, whatever else for a lot cheaper price, then you may be interested in this particular one. When you find that the, uh, the core has um, degraded a bit, because you know with sub-ohm tanks, sometimes the inner goes a little bit black. When that happens with this, all you need to do is unscrew it all, take all the cotton out, and do the little dry burn, which I showed you down below, and then just re-wick it exactly the same. Yes, it is a little bit fiddly to do that, but it is doable, and it could save you uh, a few bob on buying new calls. But if you did want to just buy the calls, you can get these packs of 10 here from Nature Vape. I didn't quite catch how much they were. Does it say on here? I'm not sure how much they are, but uh, Mark might be able to put in uh, chat um, how much they are in chat. But I can't see them being uh, that pricey. But uh, overall with this one, I think Mark and Aris Vapor have done a very good job. And it does get a big thumbs up from me. £25.99 is a very reasonable price indeed for, for what you're getting. I think it looks pretty cool as well. We've got it on the Aegis Max here with the Aegis, custom Aegis skin there. Uh, which you can also buy if you want to go and check him out on Instagram. But yeah, that's it, guys. So hope you did enjoy the review. And now I'll start having a look at chat, seeing what you guys think. Right, who else out there has got one of these? And um, what do you think? Uh, do you agree with my thoughts? Or there, are there other things that you um, w want to point out? One thing I do want to mention, actually, when you're dripping with this... It is much easier to do it when you've got it off the mod and just drip around the outside. Because if you do drip down the middle and it just goes into that, that chamber in the middle, uh, you will get, it floods out the airflow slots, uh, which isn't a very pleasant sensation. So that is one uh, little thing you need to remember. If you're going to be dripping it, I would angle it, take the drip tip off maybe and just do it like this if you're dripping it, because you do not want it going down the centre of the RDA. But apart from that, um, and it is um, a little bit fiddly if you're new to building, uh, you can't really go wrong. Q 
Cue the Nick Rush, yeah. So what does everyone else think of it then? The, the ones in chat who've got this. Uh, any ghosters that want to have a comment, feel free to do so. Not quite, but a beauty in black. Yes, indeed. Nature of Eight. Gareth Netvapor's done a YouTube video on how to do it. Not quite sure what that was about. Uh, Six pound ninety nine, right? So the packs of these calls six ninety nine for ten, seventy p a call. There you go. A lot cheaper than buying stock calls for a sub ohm tank. Another pro. Michelle B, I've got some custom ages skins coming next weekish. Nice one. I think they look pretty awesome. Actually, you can't really go wrong. The machine in this quality too, indeed, Fiona. No problems at all with the machine quality. We've got no rough edges, no burr marks, anything like that. Best thing about it is the no constant dripping. Exactly. If you just take your time and uh, drip around the edges, let that cotton, the, the juice settle in there, you'll have no problems. Simon62, big love, sir. Tuesday night is Net Vapor's cigar night. Had nests of wheat, but the devil vapor advised me to be calm and patient with it. I'm neither, but today I am. So with what a foe mofo inside, I'm off into the garage to do it. Nice one, Gareth. A lot more pulls between re-drip and plus mesh distributes are much better, indeed. What's the difference in vape between the three different types of wick strips? I couldn't tell you, mate, because I've only got the Alginate one. But you can use Muji if you want. Pre-built calls are coming for the nest in around a week's time for folk who would rather not build themselves. Also, you'd have a spare cage. Awesome, Mark. Uh, I don't build or anything. I use stock calls. But this video and watching the Nature Rate show makes me think I can do it. I might give it a go. Yeah, just a bit of perseverance, Becca, and you, you should be fine. Right, guys. So... We are coming towards the end, but uh, I just want to show you uh, some other bits that we've got in. Next week's show is going to be something a little bit different. Um, we have got a big box here of stuff. Just put that up a little bit. Just show you what else we've got uh, coming in. Put that down low. Right, as you can see here, we've got a, a box full of good, goodies here. This has come all the way over from the US of A, and it was kindly sent over by EMB Flavor, courtesy of Fogging Out with the Batman. Right, these bottles, we've got this Saboros uh, del Encanto here. And uh, I think I've got about 11 bottles here. We've got Nancy's Flan Cake there. We've got uh, Pumpkin Flan. Pineapple Rum Upside Down Cake. Basically, I've got the full collection from Batman here. We've got Coffee and Milk. These are all three milligrams. Uh, I think they're 100 mil bottles. And we got cream cheese flaky pastry. We have pineapple. We've also got guava flaky pastry. And we have got a few more bottles there as well. And uh, basically... I've been speaking with uh, Santos and um, uh, next week uh, we're going to have a special live show and it's going to be in the evening as well because of timing differences in the UK. So put it in your diaries, uh, nine o'clock uh, next Saturday, we've got Fogging Out with a Batman coming on my show and I'm going to do a live juice review and... Um, we're going to show off all of his juice range and uh, Santos is going to 
hopefully tell me a bit about his vaping journey and all about uh, how he came to do this juice line and what all the different flavours uh, represent. So nine o'clock next Saturday, we are going to be doing Meltdown Meets Batman live on the channel. So really looking forward to that. So I don't think Batman's in here today, but if you are Batman, uh, big love to you. So put that in your diaries, guys. We've got, uh, we're have got we going to have a little guest on the channel just to go through his new juice line. So that is next Saturday at 9 p.m. UK time. Right, also in, we have got something that I've been testing. Uh, we've got a dual 18650 parallel mod here by lord coggintons now you can catch him on twitter i think he's got in uh, facebook uh, as well but this is a prototype and i have sanded down the edges because um, basically he wanted me to say what we could do better so i've just sanded down mine because they were a little bit uh, coarse but this is basically what uh, we look like we've got this one we've got a brass one and we've also got a, a copper variety and uh, Hopefully, Rich at Law Cogginson's will be sending the final versions over uh, very soon. And we will be having Rich on the show as well in the next few weeks. But that's what we're looking like inside. We've got a nice on-off switch there. And dual 18650, which means it's uh, nice and light. We've got 3D printing going on. Lord C's logo there. And, yeah, really enjoying the hit we're getting from this with a couple of VCT5As or Samsung... 20s is really looking forward to the uh the final uh, retail version which will be coming up very soon so we've got that as well right we've also got the reload vapor 26 rta and here it is this little bad boy here i've been vaping this one for the last week or two I think it's 26 mil in diameter, dual core. I think you put single core in as well. But uh, yeah, this one, this is a flavor banger. Uh, spoiler alert. So that will be reviewed uh, very soon as well. Right, coming up as well, next few weeks, we've got the Wasp Nano S RDA. Here we go. That's a sneak peek of what we're going on there. We've got uh, airflow coming from the sides, independent core one, number two. And, uh, yeah, the usual plastic top cap. But I paid about 18 quid from it. So the review will be coming up in the next few weeks as well. But uh, spoiler alert, this one is very good flavor as well. But there are some issues, and we'll talk about those later on. But anyway, let's go back up top. I'll have a quick uh, natter with chat, and then we'll call this one a day. We've been going on for over an hour and 10 minutes. Ixa Rib Singh, absolute big love to you, sir. Got the Juggernaut V2 because of your review. Really enjoying it. Thanks, mate. No worries at all. And you are a legend for the donation, mate. Thank you very much. Sub M2, I haven't watched how it's done. I think I've dabbled at building myself. Imagine the satisfaction of a good build. It is satisfying, especially when you do it on the camera, mate. I'm really glad that that turned out all right in the end. Michelle B, I've ordered the strawberry casito and cafe con leche. I'm probably saying that totally wrong, cafe but con cafe con leche, uh, Lisa's saying. Nice one, Michelle. Great news, Mike. Yeah, I'm pleased we've got a bit of a guest on here. I've not met Santos before, so I'm really looking forward to that, bud. David, there should be a good show, hopefully, sir. Never bought an SQ before this. Might go for the first Rufus Kane. I've got the SQ Mono here, uh, Dion, with the, if you like, mouth to lung, you can put your own logos on and stuff like that. Here we go. We've got the MF8 logo on the side. DNA 75, can't go wrong. Pineapple rum sounds good. There's some really good flavours in there as well. We've got some others. Uh, there's a strawberry one in there as well. Adrian Mason, I enjoyed your review a lot more than you did. Thanks. Sub M Sil, Mike, what are your final thoughts on the Vapor SO bar? I still haven't reviewed it, mate. That's why I haven't given my final, final thoughts. But I really do enjoy it. One thing I would say about it, I think it could be tighter, the airflow. 
I, I tend to put my th uh, thumb over a couple of the holes to make it a little bit tighter, but it's what I use every day before I go to bed. Uh, when I'm out and about, I use the Vapor SO bar. Cheap and cheerful and very good pod indeed. E Sig 1 is selling the Rido 2645 this weekend. Yeah, if you like a restrictive vape, that's one thing. Uh, it's uh, quite a restrictive vape, much more restrictive than the uh, Juggernaut V2, so do bear that in mind. But the flavour on it is outstanding. It's more like the Blotto restriction, so if you don't like that, you probably won't like this. Even when you've got it fully open. But I've got the Lord C on there. 0.1 ohm build. Parallel fucking hits like a trooper. Cheers, Rufus. Thanks for popping in, buddy. Right, guys. So we're going to end it there. Everyone who has uh, popped in, you are absolute legends. I appreciate each and every one of you, all the ones that have chatted, all the ghosters out there. Do remember, um, we got Batman on next Saturday, 9 p.m. UK time. Uh, don't forget to vote for me, uh, best reviewer category, Vapor Round Awards. You've got until the 27th to do so. It'd be really good to get a nomination. I'm not expected to win it, of course. But if you wouldn't mind doing so, head over to Vapor Round and do that. It'd be most welcome. Um, yeah, guys, so that's about it today. Nest RDA is uh, top draw. Thanks very much to Mark at uh, Nature Vape for sending over and a good job from Aris Vapor and Nature Vape for the actual uh, RDA. They've done a bloody good job. Look forward to the RTA whenever that might be. So that's it, guys. So I'll see you all again next Saturday and big love to you all. And if you wouldn't mind just hitting that little thumbs up icon, that would be great. Right, cue the outro. Yeah.